Hello everyone! I'm here today with a new video and this is a getting ready to start an album video and it's for my New York City trip from early in 2022. I have had all the stuff sitting around but I just haven't gotten to it until now. So I have my bin of stuff here so I'm going to open that and just show you. I tend to always have some New York City stuff on hand because I've been there quite a bit. I intend to go back quite a bit. I have a friend who lives there. Plus, I just love all the culture and things to do. So I'm there fairly often, I'll say. Let me move all this stuff here. Okay. So to start with what's over here, I have a little bag of stuff that is specific to art and museums. And I wanted to include that because I went to both parts of the Met when I was in New York this time. I went to the regular Met that most people are familiar with, but then I also went to the second part, which is called the Cloisters, which is up quite a ways. It's actually just north of Harlem. So it's quite, quite a bit north in New York City, farthest north I've ever been, that's for sure. But I wanted to have this stuff at the ready because I went to two different museum visits. So all of this is in there. There's some phrase labels. I have one little sticker patch left that says Renoir. And I don't even know that I saw Renoir when I was at the Met because the Impressionists were not what I was there. It was for something else. So not sure that'll get used. And the Cloisters is all medieval stuff. And so this definitely would not apply. But I've got some labels in there. I've got this little quote that I did for a different album and ended up not using it. So I kept it. So I have that stuff. In here I have cards that are specific to New York. So you can kind of see that I have some there. And then I just dropped in some little phrases from other things as I was going through them. I thought, oh, that might be good for when I was in New York. And so I just dropped them in here to make sure that I didn't lose them. And then this is a bag of ephemera type stuff and memorabilia, things I picked up that I may or may not use, some receipts, there's a postcard of the Met, because um, I've taken a lot of different photos from outside, some are good, some aren't so good, um, so we'll see what I end up using. This was a brochure handout thing on the treasures exhibit at the New York Library, which I went to, so I have that. They also had um, a booklet type thing for it, and I already have that kind of propped into the album to see if I can use it. What worries me about that is the bulk. This is obviously much, much thinner, so it might be the better way to go. And then, check this out, I got this cool bag when I was at the library because I didn't realize they have a gift shop in there. That's how popular it is. So I went in there, I did buy some things, so I got this cool bag. I would love to incorporate this if I can. Then I also have my audio guide, whoops, from the mat. And then I have just this regular map. I doubt I'll use this because I used a full one in a different New York City trip. Nothing's really changed the way it's laid out, so I don't think I need to use it again. But maybe I could cut out where it says the map or this part that says hello. I mean, I don't know. But I do also have a separate one for the cloisters. Again, it's already tucked into the book because I want to see if I can use it. And here I just have some little ephemera and embellishment type pieces that are specific to New York. And then I have some other cards in here. And these are ones I threw in there, but I'm less likely to use because I'm not convinced that they will match with what I have. And like this one, yeah, it's New York theme, but I didn't go to Brooklyn, so I wouldn't even use that. So, you know, may or may not. Again, I just throw them in there because maybe something will hit me as I'm designing and then I'll cut apart some of these or I'll want something from it. So I put them in there just in case. And then I have some paper goods. This is actually a little strange. I have this envelope. I don't even remember where I got it, but it's a one-off. I only have one. It was just in mixes of stuff somewhere, but I love how gold and glittery it is. And when I was at the New York library, I actually got in on the tour that goes into the Rose reading room, which is uncommon. Not a lot of people get to do it because you can only go like 15 people at a time, I think. And it's like a 10 minute tour. You, you can't be in there too long. But this remind me so much of the gold surfaces that are in there that I thought maybe I could cut it apart and make a pocket card out of it or just something. So I threw it in there. And then these are all kinds of different 
papers I have that I thought might be suitable. I had this strip showing um, subway lines here. So I don't know. These are just things I thought might work because of the color or the pattern, what have you. And then I love this. It says, this is my happy place. And I specifically put this in there because of going to the main Met Museum. It is my happy place. I stayed that day pretty much open to close because I love it. And I could probably go there every day of the year, look at something different and be quite happy. So I figured that was fitting. So I have all of that. I also have some other papers stuffed in. I have this in there. I just keep it in the New York pile. But it's been really hard to use because I don't take taxis in New York. I really don't. I walk, take the subway. Actually, I take the subway most of the time. Once in a great while, I have to use the lift if I'm with somebody else who doesn't want to do the walking or the subway or if it's just some weird location or something, I might. But I think in all the times I've been to New York, I have taken a taxi maybe twice and that's it. So it's not likely to get used. I also have this particular sheet of paper because I love just that it has the city streets and then it lists a couple of things on there, one of which is the library. <laughs> I didn't go to a bowling alley or a cinema, but I did go to the library. So I like that. And then just like their little coffee things on here, I did go get coffee. So, you know, some of it is fitting, so may or may not use it. And then honestly, I just put this in there because I like the bright colors. And I know I have things that have both red and blue. So I thought maybe I could make some of it work again. I don't know what'll happen once I start working on it, but we'll see. So the other thing I want to show you is the album that I'm choosing to use here. And this is sort of a, a non-traditional album. I'm going to hold it up closer for you. This was actually made to be a Disney album. It's from Simple Stories. So you can see the spine there, lovely. And you can see why it was meant for Disney. It says Main Street. You're flying there. It says magic. This, I assume, is like the Dole Whip thing. Um, the castle with fireworks and all that. However, when I saw it, I thought to myself, I could maybe make that work for New York because I know that they do huge fireworks displays. New York is exciting. Uh, I did take a plane to get there. You can go out and have treats and coffee and things. Of course, I'm taking photos. And they do have a castle. Belvedere Castles in Central Park. Now, I didn't go there this time, but I have been there. And technically, they have a castle. And you know what? The cloisters kind of looks like a castle. That's how it's it's modeled. So it's supposed to have that feeling. So I just felt like, you know what? When else will I use this? I have no plans to get to Disney anytime soon. So why not just use it for New York? So the only other thing I have to show you about starting this album is I do have something kind of picked out for the very first layout, which is a 4 by 8 insert. This isn't something I do too often. I tend to use a three by eight more when it's this size album, which is six by eight, but I'm going to go with the four by eight and see what happens. So I don't know what I'm doing here, but on this side, I've already picked out this four by eight card and I want my plane photo to go on it. So this will just say something like New York 2022 or, you know, something to that effect. What that is, I don't know yet, but at least I have this to get me started. So now you've seen the prep that I have done. I'm ready to go and I hope you'll stay with me as I put all these layouts together. Thanks for watching.